Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my candle and wax melt empties uh, for November. Oh my god. Um, yeah, this, I can't believe it's December. Uh, it just seems the older I get, the, the years just fly by. Like one year just seems like a couple of months. But um, yeah, it's December already. So yeah, um, so I got my candle wax melt empties. I didn't think I'd get through that much, but I actually did because me and Frank went down to Puerto Vallarta for a week. So I really didn't think I'd get through that much, but I was using up candles that were like half empty from the month before. So I guess that's how I managed to get uh, quite through quite a few. And uh, just a quick update, um, Frank, uh, he, went to his eye, nose, and throat um, surgeon on Monday because he's had four surgeries in the past to remove these nasal polyps from his uh, sinuses. And uh, unfortunately, he needs to have the fifth surgery on his polyps. Uh, the last one was seven years ago, so that's pretty good for him. Before that, he had this other surgeon and he was getting operated on every other year for these polyps. And that surgeon retired, luckily, because we got this new surgeon, and he is very good. He uh, said, you know, instead of removing these polyps all the time, let's figure out why they're occurring, which we were trying to figure out uh, before, like what was triggering all this to, to grow all these polyps. And so Frank was sent to... Um, many many different specialists and all that stuff and um they got kind of got to the root of it but they still do grow back uh he's on prednisone but once a year he's on prednisone and um he's also on all these three or four other medications to kind of keep them under control but they came back so um actually he saw a surgeon on monday and two days later he had his cat scan so i'm not really sure when the surgery will be, we just have to uh, wait for the the time. Um, but yeah, we always worry because um, Frank's had cancer twice. Uh, last time he was diagnosed was um, eight years ago, I think it was eight years ago now. Uh, that was his last diagnosis. So we always worry uh, when he does get any type of surgery, we said like, can you test for cancer? Uh, because one of his subcontractors actually had polyps like Frank had and ended up passing away because he had these cancerous polyps. So yeah, we always make sure those polyps get tested after uh, to make sure they're not cancerous. So far, so good. Um, yeah, the last time, his last surgery, like seven years ago, the surgeon said that before the surgery, he had 100 plus polyps in his sinuses and each was about the size of a grape. Uh, so no wonder he couldn't sleep or smell or felt miserable. Um, so he gets prednisone before the surgery to shrink him down to raisin size, as the surgeon said. So it will be easier for to get rid of, um, to, to operate on them. So yeah, I mean, I can't imagine having 100 plus grape size polyps in my sinuses. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, um, it is what it is. Uh, so anyway, I uh, hope you skipped ahead if you didn't want to hear all that. Uh, but Millie's off off leash for about five minutes now after her walks, and I increase that time every few days. I add a couple more minutes on. She's been in the woods on leash. Uh, she's happy dog, and yeah, things are going well there. So, alrighty, um, I will start with the candles, and this is uh, pumpkin bonfire. And I just absolutely love this scent. So this is pumpkin, cloves, and uh, embers. So I get the pumpkin, I get those warm, rich cloves, I get uh, that smokiness, but it's not overly smoky. It just blends so nicely uh, with the pumpkin and the cloves. It's just a perfect blend. Um, yeah, I had no issues with the burn, and uh, it was a like 8, 9 out of 10 throw. So yeah, I just really, really enjoy that one. And it finally did show up in the Canadian stores. It just took a while. Um, and then I just finished off Rose Water and Ivy. Again, I, I don't mind rose scents as long as they're mixed with either like a powdery note or a woodsy note or a fruity note, as long as it's mixed with other things. Um, 
Oh, this is an older one. This is from 2019, so I don't got don't have the scent notes. Uh, but yeah, it's a very soft, uh, relaxing type of rose. I get a little bit of greenery in there, but um, yeah, there was uh, no issues with the burn. Um, it filled up my bedroom and wandered out, so it, was, it had a really good throw. And uh, this is Yankee Candles Oud Oasis. So I sent this to Candle Prison. It was burning fine. There's no issues with the burn. It was just a very light throw. And I don't have the scent notes on me here. This is a 2017 pour. Uh, this one, Oud is such a good, um, very soothing, kind of a sweet slash spicy kind of wood scent. I really, really like it. Yeah, it's, it's just a really good uh, scent. Uh, it is used in cologne, so it might kind of veer towards maybe a more masculine type of scent. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed this one. So I did, uh, it was probably about two-thirds of the way down, and I just sent it to Candle Prison, and I could smell it much better um, that way. And... Oh, this is another Yankee Candle. This is Haunted Hayride. So, um, when this first came out, if you asked 100 people what it smelled like, you get 100 different answers. It was, it was just one of those that um, everyone had a different opinion on the scent of it and that sort of thing. I got a very deep, musky, uh, berry scent. I, there's a slight smokiness to it. Um, it was just perfect for kind of a Halloween candle. But that was the year when they, they did the thin little strip of the label. Like, like, I mean, it's a beautiful picture of these horses going through the woods. Um, but yeah, it's just this tiny strip. I mean, it would have been just gorgeous as a wraparound or just a bigger label. But yeah, I don't know why they did those small labels. Um, this was a light throw. Um, I should have thrown it in Candle Prison, really. Um, but yeah, it's just a very deep, rich, smoky berry kind of scent. I, I did like it. It was just, um, it was pretty light. This is Acorn Lane from Bath and Body Works and this is Autumn Leaves Warm Cinnamon and Chris Gala Apples. So I don't I don't remember getting a, a lot of cinnamon. Um, it certainly kind of played its part in there. It had a bit of a, a warmth to it. Um, the apple and what's the other one? The Autumn Leaves. There was a brightness definitely to this. It wasn't one of those kind of deep earthy kind of um, uh, fall scents. It was a little bit of a brighter, earthy scent. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I don't remember having any issues with the burn on this one that I can remember. And uh, it did fill up my kitchen, and I need a strong scent in the kitchen, so it did pretty good. This is Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli. This is a newer one they had out in the fall, which was Pumpkin, Patchouli, and a Touch of Cinnamon Sugar. And uh, I do like patchouli scents. Um, I do like that earthiness. I do like burning patchouli when I'm watch, like reading a paranormal spooky kind of book or watching a paranormal show or uh, a history show. It just kind of makes the atmosphere a little bit better. But I did, uh, this was a really good blend. I really should have picked up another one. I do like, yeah, I guess you do have to like patchouli because uh, you do pick up the patchouli. Just very rich, very exotic kind of um, scent. Again, I don't... There might have been one Bath & Body Works I had to cotton ball this month, but they were all pretty good burns, actually. Just can't quite remember the throw on this. I think I melted this in the bedroom, and again, I definitely had no issues um, smelling it. But yeah, it was just a very... They did a very, very good blend of the pumpkin and patchouli. This is Caramel Brulee Latte. And this was earlier in the month. Uh, creamy Latte Caramel and a Sprinkle of Nutmeg. Oh, I can't smell it too much anymore. This wasn't heavy on the coffee. This was um, a little heavier on like the caramel vanilla kind of scent to it. But I did like it. Um, I just wish there was maybe a little more coffee. Um, 
oh, the label was so cute. And you can see the light coming through some of these. Really, really cute label. And this is a spiced apple toddy. And I do like this in the fall and the winter. And this was a 2019 pour. Um, I think maybe this one I might have had trouble with the burn. I can't remember now. But yeah, this is a very, very rich, deep apple scent. Um, warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick. Yeah, it's just very, very rich and decadent. And I always get a good throw with this one. And yeah, I like it right as soon as it gets cold, right through to spring. I really do like this one. And this is coffee and whiskey by that same line as the uh, pumpkin and patchouli. Uh, bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, and a hint of coffee. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't know if I got a lot of coffee. It, it, it was definitely kind of a masculine kind of scent. Um, I don't sniff whiskey. <laughs> I don't drink whiskey, so I don't know about that. Um, yeah, it was definitely kind of an earthy, earthy masculine scent. Had a little bit of brightness to it. Um, probably about a six or seven throw on this one. Um, I did like it. Uh, I do like those kind of more masculine, earthy scents. Uh, sweater weather. And yeah, I mean, this is a classic sage, juniper, berry, aromatic uh, eucalyptus so bright uh oh i just i just love this um the only time i don't burn this is in the summer it's just maybe a little heavy for that but any other time of the year i really like this one it's just so bright and uh this is a sonoma candle i got this a few years ago caramel toffee i think this is like 3.5 ounces or something and then i got the bigger one that um i finished previously um, yeah, this is a really good scent, this caramel. I did buy a couple of uh, Sonomas I found um, a month or so ago in uh, Winners and uh, Home Scents here in Canada. I haven't burned them yet. Um, I heard they do perform pretty good. Uh, my other candle, bigger one, did. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen them since, actually. Uh, this was a one wick. This one, this actually burned through quite quickly. I didn't time it or anything, but it, it burned through quite uh, quickly. And it did stick to the edges a bit, so I had to kind of push the wick over with a, a butter knife um, because the one side wasn't melting too good. But, um, I mean, this little guy uh, did pretty good in the kitchens. So he, he did good. And it was it's just a very rich, decadent caramel um, scent. All right, so that's it for my uh, candles. I did pretty good, actually. 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, um, but like I said, I, uh, most of these I started the previous month. So. All righty, and this is now before our Yankee um, store closed here, they were selling these Woodwick um, wax melts. I think I got this for like half price or something. This is juniper and spruce. So juniper, berry, blue spruce, and frosted sage balanced with tuberose and cedar. Yeah, it was just an, uh, kind of a, I don't know, a little bit, bit of a masculine scent, but not that clony really. But the, the only thing is it, it was very hard to smell. So I, I did burn it in my office slash dining room and it, it struggled in there. So, um, you know, I, I, I did like the scent, but it, I just struggled with this throw. Uh, this is Crimson by Sensationals. Um, yeah, this is, this is pretty clony. Um, it's kind of a, it's like a woodsy clone scent, uh, but certainly not my favorite. Um, I don't think, I don't know if I can get that anymore or not. I mean, I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, it's certainly not my favorite. Um, oh, this one's strong. This is salted caramel buttercream. Um, I just put one cube in a room and it filled up the room and wandered out. This, this is a powerhouse, this one, and it's just so rich. Um, 
you get the salted caramel. Um, the buttercream, well, I get more salted caramel than anything. Um, but oh my gosh, it's strong and it just is so, so yummy. And then this is from Ella After Wax. Um, so I did manage to try out uh, a couple of scents. Um, so this is Fine Autumn Day, uh, which is I Smell Fall and Fluffy Marshmallows. So uh, off the bat, I, I get um, just that very soft, sweet marshmallow scent. And then in the background, you kind of get... Um, that fall leaf earthy kind of scent to it. Um, I put this in my bedroom and it filled up my bedroom but it wasn't overpowering and it lasted a, oh, a moderate amount of time. And this is Headless Horseman Pumpkin Honey Chai Sugared Waffle and Waffle Cone and Coffee. So I put this in the kitchen and it did very well actually. Um, I get... I did get like a nutty praline kind of scent with this. You do, you definitely get the coffee. And then I got this very strong nutty kind of scent to it. Um, it says waffle cone. Yeah, yeah, it does kind of nutty waffle cone. Um, so it actually did pretty good in the kitchen. And again, maybe lasted like a moderate amount of time. And this is uh, Yankee Candles Wax Melt Single in Evergreen Mist. So I did put this in the bathroom downstairs. I did find it a bit light though. Um, yeah, I do love Yankees uh, Evergreen scents. They really do a good job with it. But this one was a little bit on the light side. Even in the, the bathroom downstairs, I, I struggled a little bit with that. Uh, this is Redwood and Cedar by uh, Scentsy. So this one um, definitely didn't smell like... Um, redwood and cedar. I, I was expecting a very woodsy scent and actually got kind of a perfumey, soapy kind of scent. So yeah, I, um, I did like the scent. It's just um, not quite what I was expecting, um, but it did, um, had it in uh, Garrett's room and it filled it up but wasn't overpowering. Uh, but yeah, it's just not quite what I was expecting. And this is Scentsy's uh, Southern Evening. Oh, I really, really like this one. This one's so good. Oh, yeah. It's just a very deep, musky, um, slightly watery floral. Uh, just a very earthy, earthy floral. Um, Oh yeah, I, I really liked it. It was just so lovely. Um, I would burn this year round in any room. It's just, um, hopefully it'll come back at some point. I really do like that one. This is Moon Magic by Sensationals. Oh, this was earlier in the month. I can't remember that far back. Yeah, this was fruity. This was almost kind of like a grapey kind of scent. But definitely those deeper type of berry scents. Uh, very musky, uh, slightly perfumey. I just can't really remember the throw on this one. I, I just, I can't remember. I, I did it. I, I did enjoy that one. I just can't quite remember the, the throw on it. Uh, Fall in Love with Tuscany by Sensationals. Uh, this is an old one of theirs, and I really do like this one. Oh, it's just... It's woodsy. Um, I get a greenery scent, but not a bright greenery scent, like a deeper kind of uh, greenery scent. Oh, it's so soothing. Um, almost smells like pencil shavings, which sounds kind of weird, but but pencil shavings in a good way. I do, I do like it. I really, really enjoy that one. And I got a few bars left. I did. Um, oops, I did stock up before it disappeared from our WalMarts. And this is Sensational's Banana Toffee Pie. So on cold, I get the banana. I definitely get the banana. It, it's like banana bread. Um, it's not an artificial type of banana. It's like um, banana bread. But the thing is, when it is burning, the toffee comes out and it kind of overpowers the banana. And I just get that very strong 
uh, toffee kind of scent. I don't get any of the pastry. I just get this very deep uh, toffee uh, scent to it. It's very strong, very long-lasting, but uh, I just wish the banana kind of hung around and partied with the toffee, but it didn't, so... And then, uh, this is Sensational Incense and Wine in the dual pack. So this is an old one. So um, the one side is Nag Champa Incense, which I have singles of. And the other one is Vineyard Sunset, which I have singles of. But together, these are really good. Definitely not for everyone. This is potent. <laughs> It'll knock your little bra and panties off, this one. This is so strong. Um, if you're not into those in incense, like deep, rich incense scents, you're not going to like this one. <laughs> but I really, I do, I, when there's a, um, like a, like if I was watching Lord of the Rings, for example, I love, that's the best movies ever made, in my opinion. Um, or spooky paranormal shows, what have you, I'll throw this on. This is so long lasting. Um. I'll put two cubes of each in here, and it will fill up the family room. I can smell it up on my bedroom. It just permeates the pores throughout the house, like the, and it lasts. Like I can turn off the warmer, and you can it'll, it'll linger for a couple of days. So, um, yeah, I love this one. It's not for everyone, but I I really do enjoy that one. And the last one is Egypt, which is from the Bon Voyage line from Sensationals. So I used one cube in my bathroom with my little plug-in Sensationals warmer, and it fills up the bedroom and wanders out into the bedroom. No, it fills up the bathroom wanders into the bedroom. That's what I meant. Is that what I said? Anyway, um, this is very oh, soft and soothing. This is like a sandalwood... Um, with a hint of vanilla there to sweeten it up a little bit. It's so soft and relaxing. I really like this one. And like I said, I just use one cube at a time. And it lasts a fair amount of time. But yeah, I really like that one. And I did get some backups because um, there's a few Bon Voyage we can pick up in our Walmarts. But um, not too many. That's it. Um, so yeah, I didn't do too bad actually for being away uh, for a while there. So yeah, I'm right into the all the um, Christmas scents now, all my peppermint scents and my uh, uh, evergreen scents and everything like that. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss. Uh, be kind to each other and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.